Hello, my name is Tommy Lombardi, and I will be doing my presentation on French Art Nouveau art period. I chose this particular style because of its elegance and eye-pleasing imagery. French Art Nouveau was also the forerunner for this movement worldwide, so I was really curious how this art form took off. For starters, Art Nouveau is a traditional style that evolved from historicism that dominated design for most of the 19th century. By replacing this almost servile use of past forms and styles and rejecting the anachronistic approaches of the 19th century, Art Nouveau became the initial phase of the modern movement, preparing the way for the 20th century. In this presentation, I'll discuss the predominant leaders of this movement. I'll also talk about three leading graphic designers from this movement, and I'll also provide um, ways this movement was publicized. Finally, I'll also include a gallery at the end of my favorite images from this art period. The term Art Nouveau rose in a Paris art gallery by art dealer Siegfried Bing, which was opened in 1895 as the Salon Art Nouveau. Being convinced that the quality of art objects industrially produced in France was deteriorating, Bing pleaded to breathe new life into French applied arts by embracing modern technologies, aggressive marketing, and the preparedness to adopt artistic ideas from non-French cultures, and particularly from Japan. On the right, you can see a picture of Siegfried Bing along with his art gallery. Another big influence and founder of the French Art Nouveau movement was American glass artist Louis Comfort Tiffany. Although he was an American, Bing's art gallery welcomed new art by European and American artists and was displayed and sold there as well. Another big influence this movement was Emile Gelly. He was a French artist and designer who worked in glass and is considered to be one of the major innovators of the French Art Nouveau movement. One of the main graphic designers of this time was Jules Charest. Charest utilized a new French law in 1881 that removed a lot of censorship laws and stated that posters were allowed everywhere except churches. The streets instantly became an art gallery, and Jules Charest led the way. Another leading graphic designer was Swiss-born Eugene Samuel Grasset. He was the first illustrator to rival Charest in public popularity. Although he was Swiss-born, he had worked in Paris, France. Grasset had studied medieval, medieval arts intensely, and this influence, including with a lot of love of exotic, exotic Asian art, was reflected strongly in his designs for furniture, stained glass, textiles, and books. Hector Guimard was a French architect and designer and a predominant figure of the, figure of the new Art Nouveau style. He received early fame with his designs uh, for the Castle Branger, the first Art Nouveau apartment building in Paris. This building was selected in an 1899 competition as one of the best new building facades in the city. There were many reasons why Art Nouveau spread to a worldwide popularity. First off, French laws allowed posters everywhere except churches, so a lot of the initial popularity came from street art. Art Nouveau galleries started popping up as well with the first being from Siegfried Bing. And lastly, Art Nouveau got worldwide recognition at the Paris World Fair in 1900. Art Nouveau was present in every aspect of design, whether it was architecture, painting, posters, and furniture, and that's why it was allowed to spread so worldwide. Um, here's a gallery of some of my favorite, favorite posters by Jules Charest. On the left, it's the Les Gerard Red Poster, um, made in 1879, and on the right we have the Jardin de Paris poster in 1890. These are some of Eugene Samuel Gresset's work. Um, and this is some um, architecture in Paris by Hector Guimard, and it actually kind of reminds me of some stuff from like Dr. Seuss. I don't know if Dr. Seuss had any, um, got any of his influence for his art from this time period, but it definitely seems like it um, with the door. All right, here are my citations, and thank you so much.